Okay, today I'm going to talk about prosody. Prosody is how fast you speak, the rhythm of your speech, the pitch, the high or low pitch of your speech. And prosody is something that can make you sound more American very quickly, or it can make you sound very un-American very quickly. So first of all, I'm going to share some tips with you on um, how to sound more American with your prosody. And then I'm even going to show some waveforms, um, a cool little program I found online called Ampitch. It will show the actual visual waveforms of your speech as it goes up and down and the rhythm. And I'm going to give you also some examples um, of a French speaker and a Chinese speaker and how that looks on the waveform. So let's get started. In some languages, the speech is much more rapid than American English. And especially when there's a multisyllable word, it's tempting to just like say them as fast as you can. Recoverable, recoverable. But we don't really do that in American English. Even when we're speaking fast, the syllables typically all are the same length. We just might raise our pitch on the accented, accented syllable. Recoverable, recoverable. Um, and so, when you're speaking, overall, focus on not just those speech sounds and the syllable stress, but on the prosody. So like the overall sentence is going to probably probably be slower than you're used to. Um, and there's not so much of a cadence to it, a lilting to it. There's not so much ta-da, 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 ta-da. It's more like ta-da, 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 or ta-da, 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 ta-da. Just keep in mind that you are kind of making your speech more lazy, more slurred. Um, if you do music, more legato. You know, you kind of run things together and it's going to be smooth and it's, it's not too choppy or short. It's just kind of, you know, lazy and smooth. So um, those are the things to watch out for. Okay, so watch this waveform. Have you guys seen the new infographic that the design team has come up with? So you can see that it goes up on you, down on graphic, and then up again for the end of the question. Let's prioritize our efforts on the things that matter the most. So here it goes up on prioritize, up a little bump on things, and then it goes down for the end of the sentence because it's a statement. Let's prioritize our efforts on the things that matter the most. You can see that now the waveform is going up and down with that lilting rhythm. Let's prioritize our efforts on the things that matter the most. And that was with a different rhythm. And notice how it's kind of confusing when the voice goes up at the end. It doesn't sound like a statement anymore. Let's prioritize our efforts on the things that matter the most. And on that one, it goes up and down, lilting a little bit, but it doesn't go very far up and down. Let's prioritize our efforts on the things that matter the most. That one was more choppy and monotone. Let's prioritize our efforts on the things that matter the most. That one also did not sound natural and the person sounded very unsure of themselves, especially going up at the end like a question mark. Now I'm going to do a different sentence with normal prosody. The board member's presence will be required at every meeting. And now here it is with unnatural prosody, more foreign sounding. The board member's presence will be required at every meeting. And this next one will be a little more monotone and choppy sounding. The board member's presence will be required at every meeting. These next two are my attempt at a more Italian prosody. The board member's presence will be required at every meeting. You can see that the waveform goes up and down with the lilting pattern in my voice. We need to employ strategies that would make the work from home scheme more effective and productive. And here's the same sentence with a normal American prosody. We need to employ strategies that would make the work from home scheme more effective and productive. So you can see that the pitch doesn't jump up and down quite so much, not so drastically. And this is what that same sentence sounds like, more choppy and monotone. We need to employ strategies that would make the work from home scheme more effective and productive. Now I'm going to show you samples of two very different accents. The first is going to be French and then the next is Chinese and we can watch waveforms for both.
Cannes est très famous pour le film festival, right? Le festival de Cannes a lieu en été. Uh, Marseille. Marseille is in the south and it's near Italy. It's a horrible kind of city and it's kind of dangerous as well. So it's kind of fun also. <laughs> La ville de Marseille est un port. So it's also in the south, so it's very sunny and you have fancy food and things. La ville de Nice est ensoleillée. Nice is sunny. <laughs> Can I say it more seriously? Montpellier, hey, I came from here. Uh, Montpellier. So this one is in the south, near the Mediterranean Sea. You have the mountain on the side and the student city. And so a lot of young people. You have parties, that. The end. Okay, so we review all the cities today. And uh, next, don't forget to check the website if you want the list of cities and more information. So see you next week. Bye. By the way, I really like her French accent. It's um, YouTube channel Learn French with French Pod 101. So if you want to sound French, uh, check out her channel. And what did you notice about the waveform? I noticed that it went up and down a lot, uh, right? And it's not quite as smooth and rounded, maybe, as the American prosody. Now let's check out some Chinese waveforms. And this is from the Everyday Chinese YouTube channel. Taking a taxi. You Okay, so for the Chinese prosody, you can see that the variation in pitch is even greater and I think even more difficult to understand for an American. So something you'd have to work on to get your prosody to match the more American smooth curve that we have.